What is vaporizer burn-off and do you need to do it? Watch this video to find out more. Yo, welcome back to Nordamp. I'm your host, Forty. Today we're talking about vaporizer burn-off. What is it? Do you need to do it? And how do you do it, right? So first things first, when you receive your vaporizer, you're probably very excited to open it up, give it a go, but wait. During the manufacturing process, vaporizers go through many different steps. And during those steps, sometimes there is some residue or potentially residual oil or even dust from the packaging process left behind. And therefore, you want to do a vaporizer burn off. What is a vaporizer burn-off? Simply put, it's setting your vaporizer to the highest setting, running it for six minutes long, and then doing that twice with no material inside. By doing that, the heat from the vaporizer should burn off inside the oven in the different parts, any residue, residual oil, or dust, right? The Nordamp Relic comes with two dosage capsules, so each time you do one of these burn-off cycles, you're going to put one of the dosage capsules inside the device. Let's go ahead and move this box out of the way, we'll go to the other camera, and let's run it for a session. So, first things first, we're going to open up the oven by turning this counterclockwise, removing the top, and we're going to put the dosage capsule inside here. Again, we'll close this back up, and we're going to turn the device on by pressing the button five times. We'll see the logo and then some information. On the bottom right here, it tells you, tells you our total session time and the set temperature. The set temperature can be changed by pressing these up and down arrows. It's currently set to the max temperature, but by pressing this uh, button to the right, it's gonna bring it up to the top, right? So the Relic's max temperature is 464 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna change the session time by holding this top button down for a couple seconds. You'll see that it lights up down here. We can press the left or to the right. It's already at 360 seconds, which is the max session time. It just vibrated saying it's at temperature. We're gonna set this down and let it run for six minutes. At the end of six minutes, we're gonna go ahead and open up the device. We're gonna be careful not to touch the dosage capsule. We'll, we'll discard the dosage capsule, putting it to the side. We'll take the other dosage capsule, put it inside, and we'll do this one more time. At the end of that process, you're, you have completed your vaporizer burn off, and at that point, you are ready to use your device. I'll see you guys when this cycle is done. All right, it's been six minutes, the device has turned off. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up by turning this counterclockwise, we'll lift the lid without touching anything. I'll turn this upside down and let the dosage capsule fall on the table. Now we'll go ahead and pick up the other dosage capsule, being careful because inside this, this screen or filter right here is hot, so is the oven. You don't wanna to touch anything. We'll go ahead and take the dosage capsule, we'll drop this into place. Let's see which side is the top, here we go. We'll drop it into place. We'll put the top of this back on. and we are gonna turn the device back on. By pressing the button five times, we'll go to this camera, one, two, three, four, five. Again, we gotta be careful. We don't wanna to touch that dosage capsule because it's very hot. It's already set to six minutes at the highest setting, so we are just going to leave this. Again, we're gonna let this run for six minutes, and we'll be back. At that point, the burn-off cycle will be done, and I'll leave you with some final thoughts. All right, so it just turned off. It's been six minutes and we've run it twice. Again, we're gonna open this up by turning it counterclockwise. We'll turn this upside down on the table to drop the dosage capsule out. We'll go ahead and close this. We'll let this cool down for a bit. We don't wanna use it right away, but at this point, we can plug it back in. We can use this in about five minutes. Let's just let it cool down before it's first use. Don't let anyone tell you that their vaporizer or any vaporizer that you buy is residual fee free. The reality is the residue, the dust, the residual oil, et cetera, is part of all manufacturing processes. This is not specific to any one particular vaporizer, and it's important because the reality is some of those residual oils or that residue could be harmful for your health if you inhale the fumes from it, right? So by doing this, you are gonna get the best experience out of your vaporizer, the cleanest experience out of your first hit, et cetera. So make sure you do do it, right? Do do it. <laughs>
<laughs> Guys, gals, everybody, I hope you liked this video. You found it informative and useful. If you did, please go ahead and like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. Till next time, I'm out.